Well, hello, good evening. Hello, hello. How are you, Ronaldo? Freddy's and Brenda, welcome. Thank you. All right, let me see something. We'll begin here in about a minute. Let me just look at something real quick. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Yes. I was looking at the list of, of the people who hasn't finished uh, section two or the midterm. All right. Let me see. There are one, two, three, four, five, six. Good evening. Six. Hi, welcome. Six. Let me see. Seven, Rolando, you're one of them. Seven, and that's it. So about 30, about 30%, about 30% haven't finished the homework or the midterm exam in the plataforma, right? But don't worry, we will look at it today. Rolando, I hope you finish it while we're working while we're doing it in class, because you have to 12 midnight. Okay, yes, I, I, I hope. All right, all right. We're going to look at it and go over it today. So the ones that haven't finished, today is your opportunity to finish. And you, you have to 12 to, um, to send it. Ya después de las 12, pues ahí ya queda la de administrativa con ustedes ahí. All right, so try to do it. I'm, I'm going to give you the opportunity so you can do it while we're in class, okay? And that way you avoid them calling you, okay? Because it will, it will not be me calling you, it will be uh, the administration. So, but don't worry, we will get it done today and hopefully everyone turns it in so I can send your grade to the platform and you don't have to worry about nothing, right? Mañana como si nada. Now, if you don't do it, then it will be on you. But I hope you don't. You don't stay to tomorrow and try to finish. And that way you avoid any, um, any setbacks, right? No necesitan ustedes ningún retraso para progresar. All right? So remember that. Okay, welcome everyone. So today is Wednesday already, right? Midweek, midweek already. Any plans for the weekend? Edwin, any plans for the weekend? Yes, teacher, good, good evening. Hi. Uh, yeah, I have some plans. Where, well, I have to go to work. Uh, I, 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 my, my boss tell me that we're going to Guatemala. What? So we're going, yes. Yeah, I I went this this Monday, I was, this Monday I was in in, in Guatemala. Actually, because I I travel almost two hours for 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 week, because to, they have some to what okay to what the best is per semana. How do you say two that? Two times, two, two times time. per week. Very good. Uh -huh. Yes, two times per week. Or and or. Sometimes... Or Edwin, there's two ways to say it: two times per uh -huh. week or uh -huh. twice, twice a week. Twice a week, excellent. Yes. Thank you. All right. So it's so it's very hard for me because 
as Monday, last Monday, uh, we have to, we 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 leave here from around four o'clock, and then we come back around seven thirty. So I was very tired um this last Monday, and this and this Friday I'm going. We go in the afternoon and we return at Saturday at night. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you have a a great weekend over there in Guatemala, right? <laughs> yeah, it's it's nice because it's uh I I met a lot of different places and 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 different restaurants because they they always invite me to 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 to, to different restaurants. I bet so, they do. I bet they do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you. They're a great, uh, great experience, right? Great experience. Thank you. All right. Hello, Iris. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine. All right. Well, great. Any plans for this weekend? Uh, sorry. Uh, any plans for this weekend? Uh, maybe. Maybe go out with my family. All right, great, great, great. Well, I hope um, I hope everyone is already getting ready for the weekend, right? It's already almost time. We already we already in October, getting ready. I'm pretty sure some of you are already looking forward for Christmas, right? <laughs> they already see some stores selling Christmas uh products. Yes. Yeah. The Dollar City uh, uh, has the uh, Christmas decorate mm -hmm. or, or trees for for Christmas. Uh, ya los están vendiendo. Yeah, they're already selling them. Yeah. Right, try sell. Yeah, they're trying to sell that already. They are already selling, trying to sell that. Let me see. Bones and listening. Good evening. Okay, welcome. Hello, Diana. How are you? How was your day today? Uh, Diana, how was your day today? Really nice. Um, all right. It was my my day off. <laughs> all right, all right. Today was your day off. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you had a day to rest and enjoy yourself today. Now, um, I'm going to take the first attendance now that I have the majority here, and let me begin. Okay, Abigail. Present teacher. Thank you. Beatriz. Okay, no answer. Blanca. Present. Okay, great. Brenda. Okay. Carlos. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Let's see. Diana. Present. All right, great. Edwin. Present. Okay. Flor. Present teacher, good evening. I, right. I'm driving. Okay. Okay, Flor. I hope you make it home soon, okay? okay? Thank because you. Because I'm going to present, Flor, I'm going to present everything, all the homeworks and the midterm exam, okay? So I hope you finish by 12 midnight today. All right, let me see, Francisco. Francisco? Present, good evening. Good evening, welcome, Freddy's. I'm here, teacher. All right, great, thank you. Glenda. Glenda. Okay, no answer. All right, let me see. Iris. Present teacher. All right, great. 
Jackie. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Jarvin. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Juan Jose. I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Let me see. Tengo aquí una nota suya. Okay. Okay. They called you today, huh, Juan Jose? Excuse me? Did you, you received a phone call today by administration? Uh, I don't know. Yes. Okay, let me see. All right, Miguel? I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Fabio? Present. All right, thank you. Let me see, Rolando? Hello. Hi, all right, welcome. And Janari. Janari. Hello, Janari. Can you hear me? I know you're here. Janari? Okay, no answer. All right, let me see, one, two, three. Hello, Beatriz. I already called your Hello, name. Oh, good evening. I'm going to put your press in, okay? Thank you, teacher. All right, no problem. Let me see. Did Glenda make it back? No? Okay, I guess she's the only one absent today. Okay, all right. Let's continue now. And remember what I told you yesterday, right? Yesterday I told you that we were going to work on the activities in the platform. Now, this is just to review everything. This is actually part of the lesson plan for today by, uh, by Insoforth. So it's part of the... Uh, agenda for today that I have to uh, go over the questions that you had in the platform in unit two and also the midterm exam. I'm not going to show you like the platform as it is, but the pictures, all right? And then we're going to go over it. We're going to go over it. Now, the majority of you already finished. La mayoría de ustedes ya lo hizo, right? If you would like to get a better grade, si quieren aumentar la nota y ver ahorita, con mucho, con mucho gusto, right? Lo pueden hacer también. A las 12, I'm going to say in Spanish, it will be clear, clear. A las 12 yo subo las notas completas. Ok, hoy. Si aquellos todavía no, no lo han hecho, pues hoy tienen la oportunidad de hacerlo. Lo vamos a hacer aquí en clase. Y si aún así no lo entregan, pues ahí se queda ya. Eh, en la área administrativa ya no sería conmigo. All right? So ahí le estarían llamando a ustedes, pero espero que no lleguemos a eso, right? Nadie quiere que le estén llamando. Right? Eh, remember, siempre les van a llamar si faltan o si no llegan a un cierto número de, de minutos conectados. All right? So eso es algo que, que, que siempre va a pasar en la área administrativa, right? Eso no lo controlo yo. Así es que se controla en la propia, propia plataforma, right? So ellos ven ese, ese progreso. But, aquí estamos, y aquellos que no lo han hecho, pues hoy, ahorita tienen la oportunidad de hacerlo. You have the opportunity to do it. Remember, you have to 12 midnight. Ya después de las 12, eh, la plataforma se queda prácticamente cerradita. Y ya nomás administración sería, o oh, hasta mañana, que le llamarían ellos si ven una nota que no está eh, no está terminada ok but don't worry una vez más no se preocupen we're going to do it here in class but there are some that already finished los que ya terminaron y tengo nota no es que yo la puse sino que la plataforma automáticamente la pone voy a llamar los siguientes nombres ok por si dicen teacher yo ya terminé all right vamos a ver Abigail, you are finished with homework two and midterm. You're good. Beatriz, you are finished. 
si quiere aumentar la nota, you can, pero por el momento está satisfactorio. ¿Ok? Blanca, you are finished with homework two and midterm also. Brenda, you are finished also. Carlos, you are finished with homework two, pero la nota de midterm no llegó a lo mínimo. Así que ahorita lo pueden, lo pueden arreglar ahorita en clase. Diana, you are good. Homework two and midterm. Excellent. Edwin, you did homework two, pero no hay nota para el examen. Ok. Uh, Flor, no tiene ninguna nota. Eh, Francisco, eh, bueno, Flor, ni, ni el homework, ni el midterm. So, así que, por favor, si lo puede hacer aquí en clase, would be great. Francisco, you are good. The midterm, si quiero aumentar unos cuantos puntos, you can. Freddy, you're perfect. Um, Glenda, homework two, está a medias. En midterm no tiene ningún punto ahorita. So you can, bueno, no están creo que en clase. Ok, Iris, you are finished with homework two. You can get a higher score. Puede aumentar la nota si quiere, pero ahorita está bien. Jackie, you are good. Jarvin, eh, no hay nada ahí, ni, ni homework, ni midterm. Jarvin, zero right now, but I know you will do it. Okay, Jennifer, eh, homework two, you are good. En la, el midterm, parece que nomás una hecho. Right? So ahorita no se preocupe, lo puede hacer. Juan José, perfect. No hay ningún problema ahí. Okay, thanks. Okay, Miguel, you are good. Eh, si quiero aumentar la nota, you can, pero ahorita está satisfactorio. Let me see, voy a la segunda página. Fabio, you are good. Eh, if you want to maybe get a hundred, you can, but right now, uh, Fabio, you're showing pretty good. It's very good scores on both homework and midterm. Rolando, eh, homework two está como a medias y el midterm no hay nada ahí, así es que If you can do it here in class, it will be great. And Janari, you're good. Perfect. 100. All right. Ya llamé los nombres. So you can be aware. Para que ustedes mismos sepan si, si ya está la nota o no. Okay? All right. Let's begin. Let me see. Can you read, please? Rolando. Okay, uh, reading and speaking. Oh, let, let, wait a minute. I have a problem, a technical problem. Okay, reading and speaking activities. Review homework question and midterm exam. Very good. Wednesday, October uh, 6th, uh, 2021. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Teacher, right. Mr. Henry, Intermediate 3, class number 15. Very good. Excellent. Now, uh, someone asked me, right? Someone asked me, teacher, ¿qué clase sigue después de esta? Como pueden ver, Intermediate 4 sería. Okay. So, this is Intermediate 3. The next one that you take, cuando administración decide qué fecha, it will be Intermediate 4. Okay. And there are six for the intermediate level. Okay? Just so you can be aware. Three, uh, three four, five, and six. All right. Now, okay, class, let's continue. Now, I have here, si pueden abrir su, your extra phone or your computer, para aquellos que todavía no han hecho la tarea o completado la plataforma, We can, we can begin, we can begin, and let me see, the activities will be, will begin at 2.2, all right, 2.2. So, para aquellos que quizás sacan una mala, you can, you can begin and try to, esta es la oportunidad, all right, this is your opportunity to make it happen. Let's review. Please begin, Beatriz. The activities that make the product the product available to customers. To customers, consumers. 
uh, consumers. All right, very good, all right? That make the product available to consumers. All right, the activities that make the product available to consumers, what would consumers. that be? What would that be? It says matches the description to the four Ps. What is acuerdo? Do you remember? <laughs> the activities that make the product available to consumers. Okay, would it be the, the activities that make the product available? Available, aquí está la clave. Available to consumers. The activities. Yes. Would it be promotion, would it be place? Would it be price? It will be place. It will be place. Yes, that is correct, right? That is correct. Let me write this. So number one place very good number two um who wants to do number two freddy me, me teacher okay go ahead uh number two the activity the, the activities that communicate the product features and benefits that help persuade a customer to purchase. That product is- Pur purchase, purchase, purchase. Purchase, Yes. What would that be? Would it the, be? The answer is promotion. Very good, promotion, right? Very good. Number three. So ya no más quedan dos de las four Ps, right? Uh, let me see, it is number three, please. The amount? The amount of money paid by consumers to purchase the product. Would that be price or product? For me, it's price. Very good. It would be price. That is correct. And then the last one we already know will be product, right? But let's read it. I want to read it, please. It will be Diana. Okay, she's not here, I guess. Um, Abigail. Can you read number four, please? The merchandise or services offered by a company or by a company to its customer. Mm -hmm. What is the answer? Product. Very good. Product is right here, right? Very good. Now on number five, where it says, what are the four P's? What are the four P's, right? It will be product, price, price promotion, right. place. place and promotion, right? All right, there you go. That will be 2.2, all right? So remember to put the spaces. Recuerden que los espacios son importantes también, right? You have to put the spaces in order for the platform to accept it, all right, here. So remember the spaces. All right, let's continue. Let's continue, all right? Espero que ellos que no lo han hecho ahorita lo estén haciendo. That way you don't have to worry about it. All right, let's continue with the next one. The bottom part. Okay, this is still 2.2. Pero la segunda parte. What will be inventory? Inventory. Is inventory product, price? Place. Pr very good, excellent, excellent, All right? So number one will be place, very good. Chair. All right, number. Sorry, two. I have problem with, with the number five to the last exercise. 
I don't know how to write because I write in, okay, in like, the, the like first, you. Yes, I but have the, the same problem. I have written in different ways, but okay. that's not going to answer anyway. Okay, li okay, listen. All right. Product, product, comma. Hey. Okay. Right. I'm going to put it again. Product. Si quieren, hágalo con letra mayúscula la primera. Product. Yeah. Uh -huh. Y luego, comma. Y luego, uh -huh. espacio. Uh -huh. All right. And then you put a space. What did you say, uh, Freddy's? I send it on WhatsApp for they could copy and page. All right, ahí está. Yeah, but I, I'm working in my in my computer. <laughs> All right, no problem, no problem. Product, comma, space, comma, yeah. y espacio. Luego, price, minúscula, and then comma, space. Uh -huh. Y luego, place, comma, space, y luego, promotion. And then, Period. Uh, Punto al final. Period at the end. All right, can you see it? Ahora dígame. Let me try. All right. What about you, Iris? Fue usted la que también comentó? Yes. Yeah. Oh, sí? It's good. Thank you. All right, there you have Thank it. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I have it. All right, great. Great. This was for the last act, the other activity, right? 2.2. .2. All right, let's continue with this one. Payment plans. What would it be? Price. Price. It would be price, right? Okay, what about number? Number three. Place. Okay. Number three will be place. It says retail locations, and we're talking about place, right? What about number four? Brand name. Product. Product. Very good. Product. What about number five? Advertising. Promotion. 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 Very good. Promotion. All right. That will be the answer for the second part. All right. Let's continue. All right. Then we're going to 2.5. 2.5. Here it says, can you read the instructions, please? Um, Miguel. Edwin, can you read the instructions, please? Yes, of course, teacher. Um, instructions. Look at the following products. Which of the four P's are the, they referring to? All right, very good. Which of the four P's, right? So we have here, we have some pictures. We have actually two pictures. And on the first one, it says, it shows like coffee, right? So this is number one, this little arrow. This is number two. This is number three. And this is number four, all right? These are the, the way they're written. No, I think this is number three, right? All right, so the little purple is number three, the little green one is number four. So let's begin with the first arrow. What is the first arrow referring to? It's showing like gratis or some, something is free. What would that be? Product, price, place, or promotion? It's a promotion. Promotion, promotion. promotion. very good. Promotion. Excellent, All right? So number one is promotion. All right, what about number two? The little arrow here showing some price. Price, very good. Excellent. Number three. What would that be? Place. Place. 
All right, very good. Place. It will be place, right? It's showing sucursal escalón, they tell you, right? It will be place. Okay, number four will be, it's referring to this. Product. Product, very good. Product. Excellent. All right. That was this part. That was 2.5. 2.5. Now, in the second part, we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, here is where we use the enough, the enough, right? I think we saw a lot of this in class. Can someone read, please, the phone? I don't know if you can see it. You don't put in bed? I know it's small because lo quise poner aquí. I tried to fit in the in the activity. Can you read it, please, um, Miguel? Okay, Blanca, can you read it, please? Okay, teacher. Um... Okay, go ahead, Miguel. Can I read? Um, hello, teacher. Is, mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. We can hear you. Okay. Uh, okay. This phone is um, I I I don't see very well the the words, teacher. Okay. Uh, okay. Let, let me help you. All right. Please. Go ahead. Can someone read it? Oh my God, I lost that. Yeah, I, 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 I was in the platform, but actually I, I lost her right now. Okay. Let me All right, no problem. Hey, okay, I'm going to read it. Go ahead, Blanca. <laughs> this phone blank to pay such high price. The answer is not fast enough. All right, very good. Not fast enough, right? Not fast enough. Very good, Blanca. And sorry about the small letters. It was the only way I could fit. <laughs> right? Not fast enough. And I'm on a mini laptop, and that that means that the letters it is are too small. Yes, all right. Yeah, I can I can I can probably I can understand that, right? Let me see. Let me see if I can do this. Okay, Diana, number can you yeah. read number two? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. Sure. All right. Very good, very good. Sure. Yes. Excuse me, the first question is, the answer is wrong. All right. It's not hot enough. But it takes both. It will take that one, not fast enough. Okay. You know? Yeah. I put not fast enough and it's, it's right. Yeah, it's right. It's right. All right. It's right. Me too. Now, yeah. Me too. All right. Now, if you put, if you put not hot enough, it's also correct. Creo oh. no. Not hot enough. It's also correct. Esa también está correct. If you put either one of those, it's correct. All right. Now, uh, for why would why would not hot enough why would not hot enough be correct? Porque esta sería buena también. Can someone give me? This has to do with a little bit of culture now that freddy's mentioned it not hot enough is also correct créanlo o no la plataforma acepta las dos pero por qué acepta esta why would it accept this one i'm going to explain it to you hot in esta instancia in this inference is not referring to temperature Okay, it's referring to 
a la moda, right? It's like not, not in the in cool way, right? It's like when someone tells you, you're so cool, right? No es que la temperatura de un fresco, no, right? You're so cool, it's like, yeah, right? So it's not hot enough. It's not, it's actually referring to, it's not like the top of the line, right? It's hot, right? Like whenever we say, se venden como hot cakes, right? Hot cakes. So that's what it's referring. Like something that's hot means is, está la moda, está... That's what that's what is referring to here. All right. Number two, and a, already Diana answered it, right? What is what was the answer, Diana? You said colorful enough, right? Colorful enough. Yes, colorful, colorful enough. Very good. Number three. What would number three be? It's. Let me see. Go ahead and continue. Um, Me, teacher. Rolando? Yeah. Okay. Number three. It's fast enough to help us counter our competitors release of the of their product. Very good. Fast enough. Very good. Excellent. Number four. Number four, yes. They are attractive enough to make us lose ground in the market. Very good, attractive enough. Very good. Number five, the last one. Can I, teacher? Yes, yes, Jackie, please. Okay, the coffee is, oh, it great me. The coffee is the coffee is not hot enough to drink. Very good, not hot enough, right? Very good, excellent. So those are the answers, right? So I hope you're doing it here. Very good, very good. Let's continue. Let's continue with the next part. All right, let me see clear. Okay, this one I hope you can read it better. All right, let me see. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I think we're struggling with it. Okay, can everyone see it? Is it better? Mejor? It is. Can you begin, please? Okay, uh, instructions level. Mm -hmm. Two point eight. Examples. Two point Instructions. Do you know how to use enough correctly? That's your knowledge. Knowledge with the grammar exercise. Okay. Go exercise. ahead. Continue. Number one. I didn't run to catch the bus. I didn't run. Fast enough to catch the bus. Very good. Fast enough, right? Remember the adjective, then enough. Very good. Number two. Number two. Blanca, go ahead. Okay, number two. She is oh old enough all right very no good. old old enough to know better very good very good excellent old enough adjective then enough right very good number three um because... me teacher okay go ahead okay uh she was she was enough prudent to look the car. Mm -hmm. uh, no, 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 excuse me. She was prudent enough to look the car. Very good, prudent, prudent enough. Prudent. Okay, she was put to lock the car. All right, what is prudent? 
¿Qué significa pruning? ¿Qué es este adjetivo? ¿Someone know what it means? Prudente. Very good, excellent. Very good. Prudent, that's what that means. Perfect. Number four. It's like careful. Yes. Yes. Correct. Number four, Jarvin. He was stupid enough to trust her. All right, very good. Stupid enough. Very good. To trust her, right? Very good. Excellent. Number five, Fabio. Me teacher. Oh, right. No problem. Fabio. Is it warm enough for you? Ah, very good. Is it warm enough, right? Warm enough for you. Great. Great. Excellent. So those are the those are the responses. Continue, please, Edwin. Instructions. Okay, instructions. Level the examples of, of ele elements found in a product strategy using the questions. Okay, on this one says we're not in the platform. Let me see. I can probably go there, right? There, if you select here, it will give you some options. Let me let me look at something real quick. But I can say I must. I'm going to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to find it here and we can we can do it here uh, better. All right, unit two. It was two eleven, I think. Not two eight. Okay, I'm going to show it to you here. <laughs> All right, can you see the screen? Yes, teacher. All right, great. So you have here, continue please, um, Edwin. We? Oui? Okay. Um, we build quality kitchen hardware for residential residential kitchen customers. Okay, what would that be? That would be we. Oh my God! Let me see. Well, we build quality kitchen. What are you selling? Okay, very good. Uh -huh. What are you selling? That is mm -hmm. correct. That is correct. Okay. All right. So one. What are you selling? All right. Number two, can you read, please? Me, teacher. All right, go ahead, Jackie. Okay, number two, our customers are young North American families who want kitchen hardware that can stand the, the wear in teeth of your young children. Okay. So, and, and the option is who are selling, who are you selling to? All right, very good. So number two is who are you selling to? All right. Who are you selling to? So number two.
what you sent it to, right? Okay. Um, Jackie, can you repeat this word again? Can stand? Uh, can stand. The wear and tear of young children. Okay. Tear. 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 Yes. Tear. Tear. Very good. Very good. Thank you. All right. Excellent. Tear is a verb and tear is a noun. Let me see. Okay, number three. Number three. Who wants to do number three? I'm going to do. Okay, yes, please. They are interested in materials that are safe for children and eco friendly. Um, so, what value do you provide your customers? Very good. So, for number three is what value, right? What value? You provide your customers. Very good, excellent. That would be number three. All right, continue with number four. Me, teacher. Okay, great. Okay, number four. We sell our products through a retail channel the i think is how will you distribute distribute your product distribute 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 your very, product very good excellent right so that will be number four is how will you distribute your product. Very good. Excellent. All right. And number five. Okay, me. Okay, go ahead. Our products are priced per unit and are considered high end hardware solution. How will you, how will you price your product? Very good. How will you price your product? Right, very good. Let me write it down for the ones that haven't done this. So for number five is how, just like the classmate said, how will you price your product? All right, great. How will you price your product? That would be number five, right? That would be number five. Okay, let's let me erase this. And let's continue. Let me go to our PowerPoint. All right, so we did that one already. And let me see two point. 2.11. All right, can you begin, please? Someone begin reading where it says 2.11. Hey, teacher. All right. 2.11. Instruction. Are the following ideas good promotion strategies? Select good strategy or bad strategy. Number one. Okay, strategy. Strate strate strategy. Very good. Okay. Select good strategy or bad strategy. Very good. Number one. Branded promotional gift. For me, it's a good strat strategy. Okay, so number one would be good strategy right yeah 
All right. What about, that is correct. What about number two? Who wants to do number two? Me, teacher. Okay, yes. Lack, lack of social media promotion. That is a bad strategy. All right, very good. Next one, number three. Me? All right, go ahead, Diana. Sell customer service. Uh, good strategy. Okay, can you repeat that again, please? After sell customer service. Mm. Survey. Survey. Surveys. 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 Very good. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Good correction. All right. Carlos, number four. The product giveaway and sample is a good strategy. Very good. Excellent. Number five. Teacher. Okay, go ahead. Products on sale are already expired. Um, for me, bad strategy. Okay, very good. Can you repeat the sentence, please? Products on sale. All right, much better. Very good. Very good. All right. Very good. Excellent. Okay, let's continue to, what is the, let me see. Esto se cae y le corto un poquito. Okay, what about this one right here? Instructions, can you go ahead and continue please, Edis? Instructions, <clears throat> complete the sentence. Sentences using their information in parentheses and enough. All right. So, what would be the answer using the parentheses? The play strategy. Mm -hmm. And enough channels of this distribution. Okay. All right, the play strategy demands, right? Demands with an S, con una S, porque es third person. Demands enough channels, right? Of distribution. All right, that will be your answer right there. Demands enough channels of distribution. Okay, great. And remember to put the period, right? Le ponemos el puntito al final, just in case. All right, what about number two? Okay, um, number two. Our product offer great. Um, in this case, it's, it's great, but uh, when I put uh, uh, that other way, yes, always um, appear one. Exactly. Uh, but but uh, in the meter. Uh, is one with grid, but in this case, uh, grid is correct. Our product offer grid features. Great, great. Great, great features and benefit. Very good. All right, this is, this is why we are doing this, okay? Because here, the platform no agrega enough. Pero, but this is the correct answer. Es que si la quieren corregir ahorita, si la tienen mala, you can correct it, right? Offer great features. Offer great features and benefits, okay? It doesn't take the word enough, aunque las instrucciones dice que utilizar el enough, 
but in this case it it doesn't it's not there okay so just put this one and if you put this you will have it correct if you have any doubts just let me know okay if you put it and it's still wrong let me know all right number three number three Mm -hmm. Let it right. Oh, number three. Uh, re retailers will stock enough goods and sell them. All right. Retailers will stock, right? And then, uh, let me see, will stock. enough goods and sell them very good next one then we have to put the period if you're not right all right number four uh, can i try it, teacher hmm? uh, the marketing department Hasn't mm -hmm. uh, created created enough, created enough interested enough interest interest interest, ah, interest. yes interest interest right very good what about number five who wants to do number five. Who wants to do number five? Okay, entre más rápido participa, we'll más rápido terminamos. Uh -huh. We we like or we love? Okay, we lack. Lack. lack, lack, lack. Okay, we lack enough infor information on the competitors. Mm on the on the what competitor enough enough competition 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 oh yes sorry competition, competition. very good like competence all right competition like enough information for the on the competition competition all right very good let's continue going to erase this All right. This should be the last one. Uh, esta es la última de las tareas. All right. So, what do we have here? Can you read, please? Can, who can read it? How much? How much does your product cost? Okay, how much does your product cost? Right. So we have number one. How much does your product cost? Price. All right, very good, price. Excellent. Number two, continue. What does your product do? Okay. Is that price, product, place, or promotion? Product. Very product. good. Product, right? Product. Okay, number three. Where will you sell your product? Place. 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 Number four. How will you advertise the product? Promotion. Promotion. All right. Number five. Where will you position your product? Place. Very good. All right. See? Excellent. All right. What about the next part?
Can you read, please, um, someone? Instruct uh, me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Jackie. Okay, the instructions are take a look at the following statements. Decide whether to use adjective plus enough or enough plus now. Only type the adjective plus enough or adverb plus noun, not the entire sentences. All right, very good. So we're only going to put what is missing here, the two spaces, right? There are two space, spaces. So that means there, there are going to be two words, all right? So number one. It is, is it warm enough to go to the beach? Very good, warm enough. Very good. Number two. People, where can I find enough people yeah. for the games? Enough people, right, very good. Enough people. Diana, number three. Okay, number three. Our teacher never give a, gives us enough tests. All right, very good. Enough, enough tests, right? Number four. Number four. I'm not strong enough to open this box. Very good. Strong enough. Strong enough. Very good. Number five. Is there enough sugar in your tea? Very good. Enough sugar. Very good. All right. That was all the homeworks, all right? That was all the homeworks. And then we are going to now focus on the exam. The exam. En el examen. Vamos a ir ahorita. All right. Let me erase this. borrar esto. Okay. Okay, on the exam right here, part one. Can you read please, um, anyone? Me. Go ahead, Instruction. Jackie. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Go ahead, Jackie. Okay. okay, thank you. Look at the definitions of the stage of the product life cycle. Match them to the appropriate uh, face. Okay, very good. The appropriate face. Okay, so what will be number one? The product is no longer attractive for many customers. Sales stop and the producers start making decisions about discontinuing the product, buying out competitors, or selling it to another produce. What would that be? Maturity, growth? Decline or market introduction? Maturity. Yes, maturity, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, where it starts declining, right? Or it's already, not declining, but it's reaching the top peak. Maturity, right? They were lo maximo, maturity. Number two, at this stage, a new product is brought into the market. The demand of the product might be low and the marketing effort, efforts Try to develop branding quality and awareness of the new product to innovators. Innovators. What would that be? Market introduction. Market, marketing market introduction. introduction. Very good. Very good. Market introduction. Right. Very good. Number three. The growth in sales decreases because there are many competitors. Market saturation occurs. The marketing efforts were to differentiate the product and prices might be lower than in the previous stages. What would that be? Decline. Decline, Decline yes. It's already going downhill, right? 
Very good, very good. That will be decline. Now, what about this part right here? Number four and number five. Create sentences. Can someone create that sentence? The creative team would rather ask, what would that be? You remember? Uh, man manager. The manager would rather ask the create team to to design a relaunch of the product. Okay, creative team, a relaunch. Of the product. All right, of the product, All right. Very good. Excellent. Okay, and then period, right? Okay, what about number five? What would that be? Many distributor, distributors. Distributors. Would rather distributors. Mm -hmm. Would rather match sale or products at a lower price. Okay. We're very good. Would rather much sell our product, right? At a lower price. Very good, that is correct. Many distributors, right? And let me put the O here. Distributors would rather much sell our product at a lower price. Very good, very good, excellent, excellent. All right, this is part one of the exam. Let's go to part two. Let me erase this. And let's continue with part two so we can finish this and begin our other activities. All right, part two. <clears throat> it has two parts. I just couldn't fit them because they were too small. So I just said, I'm going to put it right here. One. Can you read, please, the instructions? Read the following means. Meanings and match them to the correct word. Okay, very good. So we have a marketing strategy that utilizes multiple brand names on a good or service as part of a strategic alliance. Alliance. Ven esta palabra. Alliance significa alianza. All right. Not the soccer team. All right. We're talking about. I don't want to say equipo. Right. Alliance. Alliance. All right. Now. What would that be? A marketing strategy that you utilize? Would that be low prices? Co branding. Co branding. Co branding. Very good. Co branding. Co branding. All right. Very good. Number two. Can you read it, please? please. Mm -hmm. I can do it. I yes. can do it, teacher. Go ahead, please. Things that do not cost much. Lower price. Very good. Lower prices. Lower price. Very good. Excellent. All right. That is one and two. One and two. Co branding and lower prices. Okay. Let me clear these. Let's go to the number three. Three, four, and five. All right. What would this be? Continuation. Discontinuation, right? All right. Breaking off and interruption, temporary or permanent, will be a, a discontinuation. Can you repeat that word, Edis? Continuation. All right. Discontinuation. Very good. What about number four? Product 
Okay, inventory. Mm -hmm. Is it product? Place. The place. Place. Very good. Place. Place. Yes, inventory is place. What about payment plans? Price. Price. Very Price. Good. Very good. Price. Price. Very good. Excellent. That is correct. Price. Bless you. Okay. Let's clear this one. And let's go to part three. No más queda una más. All right. And this is part of something that you did earlier. Okay. This is just part three of the exam midterm. Number one, can someone give me the answer? This phone is, I think Diana gave it to us earlier. Not fast enough. Not fast enough. All right, very good. Not fast enough. Very good. What about number two? Colorful, colorful enough. enough. All right. Colorful enough. Colorful enough. All right. Number three. Fast enough. Fast All right. enough. All right. Very good. Fast enough. All right. Very good. It's fast enough. Very good. So those are the answers for this part. All right, let's continue. Okay, this is number four, of the same part, same section. We build quality kitchen hardware, ese ya lo vimos también, right? And let me go to the, let me see. That was section number three. All right. We built quality kitchen hardware for residential kitchen customers. What was the answer to that one? What are you selling? What are you, what are you selling? selling? Yes, right. So here would be. It will be. What are you selling? What are you selling? All right, and then for number five. What are you selling to? Mm -hmm. What are you selling to? Donde esta esa? What are you selling to? Where is that? I have that answer. What are you selling to? In number five. Mm. That's cool. Who, who are you selling to? Uh, who who are, who are you Very selling good. to? Sorry. Sorry. All right. <laughs> All right. I was I was reading fast. <laughs> All right. Who, right? Who? All right. Who? All right. Who are you selling to, right? Who are you selling to? Okay, that was this part. Let me clear. Go back Teacher. to the PowerPoint. Good. Teacher, sorry, but I, I have a problem with the activity number 2.8 because I think that I have the current answers, but it's changing to the true answer. Activity 2.8. Yes, it is. When we have to write to write the sentence. Esta es la 
Yes. Uh -huh. But I have a problem with the 2.8 when I write the answer. Okay. Me, me mandas una captura, por favor. Remember, sí. eh, 2.8. Can you give me the first one? Yes, yes, I can. Let me see. Um, let me see. No, it's. Eh, pero la let dos, me see. The 2.8 no, no escribes nada en eso. No. I don't know. No, mm -hmm. I, I'm selling what, what number is it? I don't remember very well, but I'm, I'm looking for. Is you sure it's 2.8? Maybe it isn't. Mm, I'm on. going to continue searching uh, and I'm going to, to uh, say you when okay. I found it. Okay, let me know because. I have 2.8 right here. And this is la 2.8. Can you see it? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay, this is 2.8. Yes, and in recent, this, uh, that activity, it's uh, other activity. Okay, well, let me know which one it is, Carlos, okay? Okay. Because in la 2.8, you don't have to write anything. So it has to be another one. Tiene que ser otra. All right. Let's continue. Um, let me see where were we? Where were we? You were about to start um, part four. Yeah, you're right. Part four of the midterm exam. All right, here we go. Thank you, Freddy. All right, part four right here. It says, complete the sentences using the information in parentheses and enough, right, and enough. So the play strategy Demand enough channels of distribution. Okay. Demands enough channels of distribution. All right. Very good. Demands enough channels of distribution. Period. Number two. Our products offer great future futures. Mm -hmm. features. 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 Yes, features. And benefits. All right. Offer great features and benefits. Right? And benefits. Okay, number three. Retailer will stop enough good and sells sell them. Okay. Enough goods and sell them. Very good. Excellent. Number four. Warm enough. Okay, very good. Thank you. Warm enough. Okay. Is it warm enough to go to the beach today? And then number five. Where can I find enough people for the game? Very good. Enough people. Very good. Enough people for the game. All right. 
Very good. Enough people for the game. Okay, class. That is it. Okay. And I know for some of you that already did it, you're probably like, oh, man, come on, right? But I had to do it, right? And also for the ones that haven't done it, I don't think there can be an excuse, right? Ya no puede haber una excusa por no, por no haber hecho la, right? I think we did it. And okay. some, some repeat themselves, right? Algunas se repiten. So I hope you finish and you have to 12. Tienen hasta las 12 para mandarlo. Sure. Yes, Freddy's. Yes. I think, I think I know where's um, Carlos' problem. Um, Carlos, teacher, I, you I, find? Yes. ¿Me encontraste? Yes, teacher. I sent you a, a picture on WhatsApp. Okay, did you send it to me? Me that to me? Yes. Okay, let me yes, see. Yes, please. Let me check. Okay, let me check. It's, it's 2.11. Ah, la 2.11. Yes, in the second part. I send you the figure. Okay. All right. This is what I'm... Let me look for it right here. See 2.11, right? Yes, it is. Play strategy, demand. Yeah, but it... estás poniendo mayúsculas todas, Carlos. I uh, only only first letter. Okay. I yes. can change change the first letter. Yes, remember uh, when I was doing it, when you put incluso uh, the place yes. demands, ahí se te olvidó la S también, right? So, but I, I put it like the description that is up, up that the anchor. And okay, can you do it again? Si ponerle mayúscula a todas? Porque la, hey, uh, la oración empieza, la oración ya empieza, right? Our products, and then offer will be minuscula. Or try write the whole sentence again, complete. Okay. And then you let me I, know. It's two point, uh, get a two point. It's 50%. Hmm? <laughs> I'm I'm going to finish that do it. But okay, let me see. It it, it continues. The is is it's worry. Okay, pero la que me mandaste es que que es two point what? Two point eleven. Two point eleven. Yes, it's it's a homework. Yes, it's the, it's the bottom part, right? It's the bottom part. Let me see. I, I do, I do with. What let happened? me send you a picture. I, I send you a other picture again. I changed the first letter, but it, it's, it's about to. Okay, let me look at something real quick. Ah, demands, demands, let me put the S. Yeah, you need to put the S, remember, it's third person. It's about to. Mm -hmm. I do that and it continues. But. Okay. Let me. Demands. Okay, let me see the one you just sent me. Yeah, pero no le estás poniendo la S a, a, a demands. You're forgetting the S, Carlos. Yeah, I do that. I do that. 
right now and it continues okay. to are you putting a period at, are you putting a period at the end yes like this like the pictures that i send you okay okay is the old words i the don't know problem, teacher. all right i think i think i know i'll tell you what carlos porque no says esto write the whole sentence write the whole sentence okay I can copy Write the whole sentence. Our products. Escribe toda la oración. Vamos a ver. Write the whole okay. sentence. All right? And, and then you let me know. Send you. Write this the whole me, sentence. This right. is my first sentence. I, I send you that. Okay, I want you to write the whole sentence. Vamos a ver. I want you to write the play strategy demands enough channels of distribution. Carlos? Yes. Can you write the whole sentence? Yes, I, I send you that in the chat. Yes, but you're not sending me the whole sentence, Carlos. All right, Carlos. Haz toda la oración completa. Inicia toda la oración completa y empieza con, con, uh, con mayúscula. Okay. Our products. Our, um, uh -huh. the play strategy. All right. Okay. The play, empieza con the play strategy, con mayúscula. Y luego demands enough channels of distribution. Y ahí me dices cómo te sale. Ok. Yes, that, that's the problem. I have to, I have to correct that. Yes, it's it's good now. Oh, see? Sí? Yes, that is the problem. Okay, ahora en la número dos vas a escribir our products y luego offer great features and benefits. Okay? Yes. You're going to write the, the complete sentence. Okay? Yes, yes, teacher. I... I was having a, a mistake. <laughs> okay, no problem. I hope you let me know if anything happens at, after class. Con gusto también eh, te puedo atender aquí individualmente. Okay, Carlos? Okay, teacher. Thank okay. you. So, the, the second word, the second sentence is good now. I, I, I will correct that. Okay, great. Only yeah, is, is, that. Is, is that the mistake? <laughs> Okay, no problem. Then number three, you continue to just write the complete sentence. Retailers will and then stock enough goods and sell them. Okay? Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Okay, no problem, Carlos. No problem. Okay, class, let's continue. And um, what I have here. going to share it with you but i have to do the second attendance right the second remember this from yesterday yes all right so now when we when we were talking about this yesterday i want you to just analyze it think about it because i'm going to ask you some questions but first let me take the attendance uh, abigail Present. Okay, thank you. Beatriz. Present. All right. Blanca. Present. Blanca. All right, thank you. Brenda. Okay, Carlos. Carlos. I'm here, teacher. Present. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Diana. Present. All right. Edwin. Present. All right. Flor. Present. Okay, Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, Freddy. I'm here, teacher. All right, Glenda. Present teacher. Okay, let me see. Iris. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Jackie. Present. Okay, Jarvin. Present teacher. All right, Jennifer. Present teacher. All right, Juan Jose. Present. All right, Miguel. Present teacher. All right, Fabio. 
Present. All right, Rolando. Present. All right, and Janari. I'm here. All right, thank you. All right. Let me see. Okay, I want you to look at this where it says weird jobs. Weird jobs. Can you read, please, um, Fabio? You work? Weird jobs. You work in an office and you are bored? Here are some not so usual jobs waiting for you. Right, waiting for you, right? So if you're in the office and you're bored, right? And here comes some weird jobs, right? Weird, right? Continue, please, Fabio. Golf ball diver. When a golf ball falls into the water, the task of a golf ball diver is to pick, pick it up. In modern golf courts, professional golf ball divers can become very rich, picking up 3,000 balls a day. The most dangerous thing is that the lake is full of glass, iron pieces, and even crocodiles. All right, so let me make this a little bit. Let me see. In, in many parts of the United States, there are many people that have this job, okay? They get paid very good, very good money, all right? And they go around golf courts, golf courses, and they pick up balls. But I've also heard of people get bitten by crocodiles. Yes, that is true. Crocodiles, ahí andan los cocodrilos también, right? In certain parts of golf courses. That's why they get paid a lot of money. So that is just one, one job, right? Let's go to the next one. Mm -hmm. I want to read pictures. Go. Please, please, go ahead. Okay, a smell tester. Although technology and science are more and more developing, cosmetic companies still need professional staff to smell their products. A smell tester has to smell 60 different odors three times per an hour. All right, so imagine this, a smell tester, right? This is a person that that works for companies, maybe cosmetic or perfumes or colognes or different lotions for bodies, right? And they go around smelling and they get paid to smell, right? 60 different odors, 60 different odors, three times. I mean, it's like what, right? Three times an hour, right? They have to go around smelling people. Hmm. All right, good money. Next one, who wants to read the third one? I want to read. Go ahead, Abigail. Hair boiler. Hair boiler is considered to be the worst, the worst job. You must stand beside a big pan, which is used to boil different kinds of animal hair until it becomes soft enough to make false hair. All right. To make false, false. Okay. What does it mean, pan? False? Pan. A big? Oh, a big pan. Cacerola. Una cacerola grandota, right? A big pan, right? Una oil. Yeah, right? As you can see here, you see the picture here? Yes. Okay, you see this person? This is the pan. This is the pan, right? Mm -hmm. Which is Thank used you. is used to boil. ¿Qué significa boil? Does someone know? Herbir. 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 Herbir, yes. Different kinds of animal hair, right? So there are people that boil the hair para hacer pelucas and or different types of extensions, right? Extensiones para que se ponen las personas for extensions. They're very common in the United States and all over the world, all right? All right, um, all over the world. And people boil animal hair, right? pelo de animal. And some of the most 
common wigs, okay? Pelucas se dicen wigs. I'm going to write it for you in case you do not know. Wigs. Wigs con pelucas, right? Many wigs have what is called horse hair. Horse hair, right? Horse hair, which is more expensive. It's more expensive. But other regular regular wigs are done with different types of animal hair, right? Different types of animal hair. Okay, let's continue, Francisco. Okay, teacher. Uh, what to my tester? Fancy uh, stealing or ceiling? Mm hmm on your can, can you begin, can you can you begin please again yes a uh, fancy 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 steamer or or steamer okay. what is the correct pronunciation okay fancy sitting sitting, sitting. ah fancy sitting on your backside yes I dry or okay. Hold on. All day, all day, all day, all day, or be lying, lying, lying in bed till late. Very good. When no you when no you can every day at work at a for for mirror tester. Okay, furniture. 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 Okay, furniture tester, right? Furniture tester. Okay. Now, a furniture tester is just a person that tests furniture, including beds, right? Hasta las camitas. And they have to lay for hours. Estar allí por horas, right? Stay there for hours and see how well your body feels, right? Imagine getting paid for that, right? And being on a recline or maybe those those chairs that are made for uh, for games that people play uh, games with, right? A gamer, a gamer uh, seat. They're tested before they're the, market, right? <laughs> is it comfortable? Then? Yes, comfortable. Yes, is it comfortable? Is it? It does it hurt your muscles, right? That's what a <laughs> furniture tester is, right? It's the 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 furniture, right? And. Uh, wow. Wow, imagine that. Continue, please, right? Uh, it is. Professional pusher. Japanese he needed a uh, hard working. Indeed. Indeed, sorry. Okay. Indeed, a hard working nation. It makes sure that all its people reach work on time and that's why Japan has employed people to push others onto trains so that nobody's late to work. All right, very good. Now imagine that, right? Imagine that, so professional pusher, all right? It makes sure that all people, this is in Japan, reach work in time, right? So it's like, hey, ya van tarde, and they start pushing out the trains so people can move, right? Move, and they get paid for that. So no one will be late for work. Remember that in the Japanese culture, alguien que llega tarde es visto de mala forma, right? Alguien que no es puntual en esa cultura. So if you ever decide to go to Japan and work, and you're late, or for a meeting, or una reunión or something, they're going to look at you like, hmm, uh, right? In that type of way. I'm serious. They're very, very disciplined with punctuality. Punctuality. If you arrive a la hora, ya está start, right? According to their culture. All right. Let's continue. So you have people pushing. They get paid to push people to get out the train. Let's continue. Thank you, Iris. Um, Freddy's, continue, please. That will be car play blockers. Mm -hmm. In a bit of, in a bit to reduce 
congestions on Con the congestion congestions on the road. Iran has employed is an strange policy where cars with a number plates ending in odd and even numbers are allowed on roads on alternate day only. I uh, how do you say Ar Iran? Okay. I Iranians, Iranians. Iranians hire men to walk behind their cars so that the cameras don't capture their numbers plates. Very good. So due to a lot of congestion, right? A lot of traffic in the streets in Japan, I mean Japan, in Iran, right? Does anyone know where Iran is? Alguien sabe dónde está Iran? Oh, give me a close Asia. Mm, okay. Oh, oh, Africa. Close. Mm, no. Medio Oriente. Yes, Middle East. Middle East, right? It's in Middle East. It's next to Iraq. I have put Afghanistan, that region over there, okay? Iran. Eh, para un poquito de historia, para algunos, Irán era lo que se le llamaba antes Persia, los persos, right? If, if you ever read the Bible and los lectura bíblica, ahí está Persia, eso es Irán, all right? That is the territory of Iran, all right? The Persians, los persos, that is Iran. So here in Iran, there, they have, they, they have what is called people, they hire people to block their plates because on certain days, certain strict laws, like for example, si su número de placa termina con un tres, hoy sale, pero mañana no. Mañana salen los dos, cuatro y seis y ocho, right? So that's what it means by ending in odd and even numbers. That oh. reminds me that when we used to go out with the with the Dewey number. Exactly, right? That is similar for the pandemic, right? For the pandemic, right? But yeah. here, but here in Iran, they're doing it only in places where it's real congested, right? Para disminuir el tráfico, they do this and say, you know what? Too many cars, too many people in cars. Today, odd numbers, today one, three, and seven, and nine can go and drive. Tomorrow is two, four, six, and eight, right? That's how they have it, right? Imagine that. So what they do is they hire people, contratan personas, para que le bloqueen la placa. So the cameras, because they have cameras, they will not be uh, <laughs> located, right? It's like, what? Right? Imagine that, right? Imagine what that, right? What happens if the police catch it then? Ah, pues yo pienso que le dan, I don't know, right? They have strict laws in, in Iran very strict laws right very strict laws i think they have sharia laws muslim laws right so they do public lashings i always done golpeing a la gente en público con latigos and stuff like that right in iran in iran and if you steal in iran i think you go to prison to cortar la mano stuff like that right if you do crimes like that very strict Right, very strict. I think you can leave your car outside and nadie te lo toca, right? <laughs> so, all right, I'd right, be like, okay, if I take that car, maybe I'm going to lose my hand, right? Only the gunster. Yeah, right, unless you're just <laughs> going to risk it, right? But just a regular person stealing or going to a store and steal, oh no, right? La pena severa. All right. Public, they do public, public, um, action let me see let's do the last one let me see Beatrice can you do the last one please yes professional mourner 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 you'll need these mourners if nobody gave a damn about you when you were alive 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 it's sad that you won't be able to see them more for you because you'd be in the coffin. Very good, excellent, good job, Beatriz. So here we have professional mourners, 
right? Let me see. Professional Mo Francisco wrote something here in the Zoom. Professional mourner or pay mourners is an occupation that originates from Egyptian, Chinese, Mediterranean, and Near Eastern cultures. Professional mourners, also called morologists, and mutes are compensated to lament or deliver a eulogy and help comfort and entertain the grieving family. Yes, that is correct. According to Wikipedia. Teacher. Yes, exactly. And it's also mentioned in the Bible, right? I mentioned yes. it in the Bible, yes, and other religious texts. In very old, this, yes. this tradition. Very good, yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. The occupation is widely invoked and explored in literature from the Ugaric epics of early centuries BC to modern poetry. That is correct. Yes, excellent research. You are correct. This is an old profession. That's why you see it mainly in that part of the world, Francisco. Yes. Por eso se ve más en esa área del mundo, right? Because the tradition has not stopped and has continued for centuries. BC, Francisco mencionó BC. ¿Qué significa BC? Before Christ, antes de Cristo, right? Before Christ. Now, I want to tell you something, Francisco. Very okay. good there, right? Remember that BC, eh, in many parts of the United States, aunque no lo crean, ya no se puede utilizar ese término. ¿Saben cuál se usa ahora? Why? Ya no se usa antes What? de Cristo, se usa antes de la era común. Before common era. Ah, right? Okay. All right, so that's something to be like, what? Créame que yo me sorprendí, right? ¿Y cómo sé esto? Porque las Cortes Supremas eh, dijeron que no podían utilizar religión en textos mm -hmm. legales, right? Before Christ, ya no. Before Common Era. All right? Okay. I remember, I'm going to tell you just a brief story. I remember... Uh, Something that I saw, a judge, un juez, que tuvo que dar su resumen, su dictamen sobre esto, renunció al, al, al decirlo, because he was a religious person, right? Y dijo, yo no puedo ir en contra de something, porque tenía que quedar, quitar una Biblia de enfrente de, de la corte, que era un monumento. It was a monument. So he had to, he had to do the resolution. Y para no ser parte de eso, mejor dijo, I'm, ya estuvo para mí, right? I'm done, right? So someone, another judge said, quítenlo. And okay. signed off. And they took that out from the court's religion. But very good, uh, Francisco. Yeah. BP means before Christ. Okay? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know, but... Um, uh, for, for example... Uh, uh, when we start the juicio, how do you say juicio? The trial? What? Sorry? The trial? The trial, uh, maybe the, the some person when, for example, when you are a testigo testing. A witness. Witness, uh, you, you are a promise to to say that the only the truth exactly with with the con la, con la Biblia or no or no yes with the Bible yes mm -hmm. yes that is correct that is correct okay. so what do you think about this this is an old tradition this is an old job that started before time right before Christ and during during the Egyptians right even maybe in some Roman or Greek Maybe because you say literature, right? I say literatura um, antigua, right? What okay. do you think? Which would you uh, hire? Would, would you hire people? No, because the 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 in the United States don't know use the before the the Jesus or Christ or Jesus. Yeah. Well, what about professional mourners? Would you mm. would you hire them? <laughs> <laughs> Would you hire? I want to ask you, Francisco, 
Usted contrata no. a professional mourner for a funeral uh, or anything like that? No, no. Uh, my my question my question is because uh, in United you say that in United States don't use the term Christ. Yes, uh, antes de Cristo. Mm -hmm. In a lot of in a lot of places for legal purposes they don't use it, right? But then uh -huh. they do, just like you say, when you swear. When you swear, you have to use the Bible. So it's like there's dilemmas. There are di oh, okay. dilemmas, right? Mm. They took that out of schools also. De las escuelas, oh, okay. right? In the schools also. So there's like, de depending on the states also. Okay. Right? okay. There's some states that do it. and some states that don't. They have a bond. Mm. Okay. 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 Thank you, teacher. Okay. No problem. Now, I want to ask the class. Thank you, Francisco, for your input. Now I want to ask the class, what job or what profession, what profession would you like to do out of these weird jobs? I will be a furniture tester. Okay, furniture tester, all right. What about you, um, Beatrice? I would like, I would like furniture tester too. Okay, very good, furniture tester. Anyone else? Okay, let me ask you this. The golf ball divers, they make good money. They make good money. They make like thousands of dollars a week, right? Would quitemos el furniture tester because I know that's probably going to be the, the most, uh, most significant one. But omitting furniture tester, which one would you be out of? I'm going to ask for three. Golf ball diver, Smell tester or professional mourner? If I tell you you're going to make a million dollars, you want to say no. <laughs> a professional mourner. A professional mourner, all right. Professional mourner. <laughs> all right, professional mourner. So what you're saying is you will be able to cry. You will be able to cry at a funeral, right? Eh, tiene que tener la habilidad de llorar, de verdad. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. wah, wah, right? For like two But, hours, right? Maybe apply with the uh, big vaporú. Yeah, right? Vaporú, <laughs> así, una cebolla, right? <laughs> A piece of onion, right? Under the eyes, right? <laughs> right? Okay, that was just a little, just a little something to do extra. What about you, Flor? Would you be a golf ball diver, a uh, smell tester, or a professional mourner? Flor? Okay, I don't think you have your microphone on. What about you, uh, Fabio? I think um, professional mourner. Okay, you'll be able to cry? <laughs> I don't know, but... <laughs> <laughs> You're going to try, right? You're going to try. All right, okay. Now, let me go here. Let me get that in. Okay, class, I'm going to give you like six minutes. I'm going to put you in groups. Can you take a picture of this? Okay. And I just want you to talk. Whatever you don't finish, we will continue tomorrow. Okay, take a picture. Maybe someone can put it on the, on the WhatsApp group. It will be nice. Let me see. All right, nobody sent it, so I'm going to send. Okay, someone already sent it. All right, thank you, Iris. All right, I'm going to put you in groups, and I want you to just talk about a job you dislike doing and all these little different questions that I have here, so you can just do some speaking. 
me see. Teacher, just remember to to abilitate the yes. sharing. Yes, I have. The screen. Yes, I have. I will do that right now. You ready? One, two, three. It's already there, uh, Blanca. You can share screen. Okay. Everyone can share screen if you want to share it.
Okay, welcome back. Everyone's coming back already. Let me see. Beatriz, I responded to your message, okay? I hope you can. Thank you, teacher. Right, no problem. And um, remember, we are finished. Voy a actualizar aquí. I'm going to actualizar aquí la plataforma para ver. Okay, one. One, mm -hmm, two, eh, only two people. No más hay dos personas que aún en el examen eh, no tienen la nota satisfactoria. All right. You have to, tienen dos horas para hacerlo. That will be Flor and Carlos. Okay. So try to do it. I will be awake. You will start dispuesto hasta la medianoche. So if you have any questions, just feel free to ask me. Pero por el momento, eh, only you two. Lo demás, everything is good for everyone else. Thank you. All right. And I'm going to do the final attendance. Abigail. Present. All right. Thank you. Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Blanca. Present. All right. Brenda. Okay. Carlos. I'm here present teacher. Okay, thank you. Diana? Present. All right, thank you. Edwin? Present. All right, Flor? Present. Okay, Francisco? Present teacher. Okay, Freddy? I'm here. All right, Glenda? Present teacher. All right, Iris? Present. Okay, Jackie? Present. Thank you, Jarvin? Present teacher. Thank you, Jennifer. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Juan Jose. Juan Jose, okay, no answer. Miguel? I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Robert, I mean, Fabio. Present. Thank you, and Rolando? I'm here. All right, Janari. I'm here. All right, great, okay. Everyone else, ahorita voy a empezar a subir sus notas, eh, los, que ya, los que ya tienen eh, terminado todo. And I hope the other two can finish by 12, okay? Ya saben quiénes son, ustedes dos. So, thank you everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow. We are finished with Unit 2. We will begin Unit 3, Unit 3, and that one's going to be five classes, okay? And to finish Unit 3, is going to be five. And the person that stays today is Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Are you okay, here? You. All right, you stay with me for the extra 10 minutes. Okay, everyone else, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. I will be awake till midnight. So, good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, -bye. Thank you. Take care. Bye, Jenny. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. All right. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Okay, teacher. I or I just have um doubts about when we can use too much because I remember that in one class you say that if you use two Adjectives that sounds redundante. Yes, if you but uh, but I I wasn't clear in that. Okay, what what happened was somebody tried to use another uh, quantifier, otro quantificador, and there was no need. All right. For example, if you say too much, many, right? If you say Hay muchos bastantes, right? You, it's like, yeah. it's like, there's no need, no es necesario, right? There's no need to say there's too much many, right? Or, hay muchos bastantes pájaros, right? It's like, yeah. that's what I was referring to, Jennifer. That's what yeah. I was okay. I didn't get that. And yeah. also, I, I think that I wasn't in that class when you, or maybe I connect late. When you explain, would rather. I would rather, okay. 
Uh, do you remember what class that was? ¿Se acuerda usted qué clase era esa? Um, no, I don't remember. I saw it in the platform. Okay. Okay, because I have to... Para demostrar lo que vimos, right? To show you what we saw. But it would have been... That was in your module. Uh, let me see. That was your. Esa era la unidad uno, right? That was unit one. Okay. That was. Sí, aquí que va a dejar la conferencia. Uh, I, I won't be able to find it. Voy a perder el tiempo con usted. So I'm going to just show you the, the, the book. Okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. Let me see. The page 13. Page 13. Okay, can you see my, my screen? Not yet. Not yet, all right. Can you see it now? Yes, teacher. All right, so can you read please? Will you yes, would rather to express preference. Very good. Es okay. para expresar una preferencia, all right? To express preference. For example, you use would rather, I'm going to write it right here. Would rather, when usamos said would rather, when we use would rather, we are talking about a preference, right? And then the would rather plus base form of the verb, verb, base form. Okay. All right, veamos. Cuando hablamos de preferencia, when we talk about a preference, we express it. Nosotros lo expresamos, right? When we want a preference, right? It's like preferiría. Yes, right? Yes, yes. I would prefer, right? Yo preferiría, just like you said it, right? So, I would rather, es similar como I prefer, right? But we use would okay. rather also, okay? I would rather, ¿qué preferiría usted? I would rather... Digamos, I would rather, I would rather, y el verbo viene en base form. Remember that. That is the correct. Like in all the modal verbs. I would, no, not modal verbs, base form of the verb. No, like in the all the modal verbs because of good. Yes, 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 exactly, exactly. I thought you said, aquí vamos a incluir el modal verb. I thought you had said that. All right. Yes, it's already here, but when we use would rather, ya es una frase, all right? It's a phrase that it stays together and then you put the base form of the verb. I would rather eat, eat uh, than, than tacos. Okay. Could be. Yes, yeah, I would rather pupusas que tacos, right? Than tacos. Okay. Or you can say, I would rather, or she, or we, llamo nosotros, we would rather, we would rather learn. Go to the beach. All right, go to the beach, right? Go to the beach. Vamos a hacer go. Right, simple present, go to the beach, then stay home. Te quedas en casa, right? Then stay home. Okay. All right, that's it. Y como puede, can you read the example right here? Uh, we would rather. We would rather, we would rather relaunch the product than discontinue it. Very good. Que descontinuarla, right? Then discontinue it. Can you give me some more with would rather? Una preferencia, mm -hmm. right? No. Preference. I would rather eat um, coffee without 
sugar. I would rather repeat. Drink coffee mm -hmm. without sugar. Very good. Sin azúcar, right? Without sugar. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. You see? It's very easy. Very easy. All you have to do is would rather plus the base form of the verb. Give me some more. Give me some more, Jennifer. Okay. She would rather go to the gym than stay at home. Very good. Go to the gym. Go to the gym. Then stay at, at home. home. Very good. All right. Give me another one. They. They go rather. Okay, uh, la pronunciación. They would. They would. Mm -hmm. Good. Excellent. Rather. Take class online. Okay. Than person. They would rather. Take. Take classes. Okay. Online. Than presential mode. Mm, presencial quiere decir, ¿verdad? Yes. The, in English, no se usa presencial, la, la palabra. The, then in person. Uh, in person. Or, sí. o puede decir face to face. Ok. Ok. Eso es el equivalente. That is the equivalent of presencial. Uh, ok. Ok, teacher, thanks. Ok, can you give me one more? Yes, um, we would uh, rather um, do exercise okay. at home. Very good. Oh, yeah. We would rather do exercise at home. Very good. You see, it's all about preference, right? You okay. see how easy it was? Yes. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Thanks for explaining, me, teacher. No problem, Jennifer. No problem, and it's a pleasure helping you. Okay. And if you ever have any questions or doubts, please feel free to ask me. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, you have a a great night, and I see you tomorrow. I hope the same to you. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. All right. You too. Sweet dreams. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.